Hello and welcome to episode 68 of the Jeffrey and Brian show. I am Jeffrey. I'm Brian. And we're just two guys drinking beer, talk what's going on. Uh, obviously, I have to start today talking about this dude in England. Uh, I don't the name of the city's in here somewhere. Gloucester, I think. Yeah, Gloucester, England. He, he, uh, he had to go to the hospital to have a World War II uh, artillery round removed from his... Uh, <clears throat> behind oh um oh uh I, I don't even know what to say about that like who who shoves ordinance up their ass <laughs> uh and this is according to msn.com i just i laughed so hard when i read it like, there's no way i can't not bring this up they had to pull on the bomb squad and everything uh, yeah they yeah, they confirmed it was uh what uh not live or whatever yeah yeah oh my god well there's things you just don't stick up there yeah, exactly like or <laughs> like <laughs> <orange. tips>. <laughs> <coughs> all right what, what do we got next up here um jeffrey epstein <laughs> all right um yeah the Jizz face uh, Maxwell is um, her trial has started. Yep. Haven't heard a whole lot about it because everybody's been focused on other trials. That and it's a federal trial, so there are no uh, cameras allowed in the courtroom. Uh, I don't know. All I saw was uh, I can't find much, actually. I looked a lot for what's going on, and all I can see is that uh, the Epstein's pilot has been called to testify right. that he kept detailed um, flight logs. Um, I, don't, it, I can't find much. You know, I keep looking because this is a big deal. Uh, this is the whole reason why everyone's been saying Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself all this time was that we, when this came up, we could be like, oh, yeah, by the way, they killed a dude to keep everyone quiet about this shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find stuff. If we find, if I find more, I'll uh, update next week. Something that I think should be, I think it should be big deal news and it's not anywhere. All right. You see, uh, Illinois just redistricted everything. I think that's the correct word. And made it a point of laughing at the Republican uh, Congresswoman that she's going to lose her spot now. I was like, isn't that the definition of gerrymandering? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if this was in a Republican state, they'd be freaking out and having courts involved and everything like that. It's obvious they did it. I mean, when they made it a point, it's like, ha, 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 ha. Uh -oh, we got breaking news, maybe? No. Uh -oh. What? You didn't read it, did you? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying um, to print this, and it's telling me there's not enough size for it to print it. That, that you need to remove songs and videos from the printer. Mary I mean, Miller. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. I'm just trying to print out three papers. See, these three pages. That one, that one, and that one. I'm trying to print it, and it's telling me there's too many songs on the printer. <laughs> Oh, geez. Yeah, also so I, what does that mean? No idea. <sighs> There's nothing on the printer. Doesn't even take hard drive space. Doesn't even have a hard drive. This is hilarious. She doesn't respect the show. Yeah, <laughs> I see that. <laughs> uh, but I mean, if exactly if that was a Republican, they'd be all up in arms, taking dumps on everyone's forehead, screaming about it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, moving on. Apparently, Hawaii had a blizzard warning this week. Yeah, and even um, a Ray made a point and said, "Well, that's in the mountains." But even the like the normal areas, they got down into the 60s. 
That's crazy. So, I mean, I'm sure these people are breaking out their, the, what little winter clothes they have for 60 degree weather. Yeah. Actually, I bet they have like full on winter clothes because down in Florida, you see people in the, you know, it gets down to the oh, 70s, yeah. they got fur jackets on. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know whatever came of it, but they, they were warning as much as a foot of snow. Yeah. And not everyone realizes this, but a blizzard's actually a windstorm. Uh, snow, and they've said 100 mile an hour winds. Uh, they're just nasty because you have the snow with them, and you know, a foot or two feet of snow might fall. Mm-hmm. All right. So, what's up with this um, militia that Florida wants to make? Well, I mean, DeSantis is tired of the Pentagon being in charge of the National Guard and dictating that they've got to get the vaccine and stuff like that. I believe we've talked about exactly that on the show before, in that if the National Guard is supposed to be the state's militia, what are they doing being funded, trained, and supplied by the United States military? Right. I mean, that sounds counterproductive. Except maybe you know their techniques and their tactics, but they're not teaching the National Guard the crap that the freaking berets and seals are doing, you know what I mean? Yep. In fact, the federal government just, uh, they actually have a record of who's been trained how much. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, this one particular dude can actually shoot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, in Oklahoma, the governor came out and said he wasn't going to make his National Guard get the shot. And the Pentagon came back and said, well, if that's the case, your guardsmen aren't going to be allowed to do their two-week training and do the things they need, do any federally funded activities, so they won't be able to remain certified. Certified? What does certified mean? Well, I mean, there are certain things they have to have taken care of every year to make sure that they could deploy with the regular Army or Air Force as needed. Who gives a crap? The whole point is that it's a militia to protect the state from the federal government. Why are we deploying them with the Army overseas? That seems ridiculous to me. Well, that's what we did for all of uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. A good I know. And I, of them were National Guard. Yeah, I know, and I don't understand why. That just seems absolutely ridiculous to me, you know? All right, maybe, maybe it makes more sense to everyone else, but that's the argument people use anyway against the Second Amendment is that it's for the militia, and the National Guard's the militia. All right. Do you think it's going to go anyway? You think Florida's going to get their uh, private military force? Um, I think if I think as long as DeSantis is governor, there's a distinct possibility of that happening. There's not much the federal government can do, right? No, it's a state thing. They've done it before during World War II, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out, and. Uh, should be real fun to watch a whole bunch of liberal heads explode over that. Oh, yeah, that's that's probably part of the reason why he did it. Yeah, and the best, worst part is it, a liberal, a real liberal, wouldn't be that upset about this. They'd be like, "Oh, that's might be extreme," but when we say liberal now, we mean Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, apparently. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Dorsey uh, quit. Yeah. Uh, within like 24 hours, stock shot up 10% as soon as he quit. Yeah, there's a problem because the new guy that took over, he is more leftist than Jack Dorsey was. And he's actually, yeah. what he's, what's going to happen here is, and it's already started happening, is that the people on the right are finally going to realize that we cannot trust Twitter, we can't trust Facebook. We can't trust Google. People to, realize that, though. To do what they need to do and maintain objectivity. Mm. So there's going to be people do trust Google too much. To, uh, to take their place on the right side, like Parler and all the other ones, you know. Yeah, they all keep getting shut down by the uh, 
uh, web space providers, you know, the yeah, database yeah. providers or. Uh, well, Parler's on Rumble servers now. Rumble's a Canadian company, so. Yeah, and all sorts of stuff. We'll actually get to something about Rumble a little bit later. They're, uh, well, they're going public. So you can, you can buy shares in it right now. But it's a Canadian company, so. So. You got to buy Canadian share. It's, it's still a share. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like it's a less of a share. Well, in Canadian dollars, it is. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I just I was interested. I was I'm gonna look into it. Um, I last I checked, it was somewhere around, it jumped up to like 14 bucks a share from 10 when it started, and then dropped back down to 12 something. I don't know what it is now, but something it's got one of those weird things attached to it that if you own the stock when it gets to 15 dollars a share, something weird happens. Hmm. Like it's like regular. yeah, like stuff splits and you know all sorts of weird stuff happens. Uh, whatever but yeah anyway this new guy for twitter he's uh, he made it a point of saying um shoot now that he's not there to sub- defend the first amendment right like, yeah he wants healthy conversation i was like well, so you don't the first amendment does y- yeah exactly that was the whole point of it yeah and he's quoted he's quoted on twitter as have said as have said I don't know what the words I'm looking for are. Anyway, um, <clears throat> if people can't distinguish between Muslims and terrorists, maybe I shouldn't tell the difference between uh, racist and white people. Right. And say, oh, this is the guy that's going to be controlling the language on Twitter. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I didn't think Dr. Oz was a Republican, dude. He may not be that big of a Republican. He may be Republican because he's left. I bet at one point he was a Democrat, and because the Democratic Party went so far left that um, that's an issue for him. So he's going with the lesser of two evils. Maybe. And yeah, exactly. The left went so far left that he's automatically considered a Republican because... Um... He was talking about how people are basically done with COVID, right? I think that was his big thing. They made fun of him and called him an idiot. Yeah. Uh, Wasn't he the guy that Oprah was on all the time? Or Oprah had on all the time? Yeah. Hmm. Then he had his own show on uh, NBC or something like that, or one of the major networks. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't see what then. Uh, anyway, yeah, I was a little surprised, and then of course all the people that loved him hate him. Mm-hmm. You know, he's an idiot and he's stupid, and he's like, oh. he was an idiot and all this stuff when he was on Oprah's show. Right, exactly. That's where he got to start. That's where you know people he gave the name recognition from being on Oprah's show. Well, the same thing happened with um, Trump, though. Uh, everyone loved everyone loved the guy until he ran as a Republican. Right, and John McCain was the same way too. When John McCain was running the primaries, he was the Democrat golden boy. Mm. But when he had the actual nomination, then you know he was death. He was the devil. Mm. McCain, I never liked McCain, but that was just me. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people didn't like McCain. <clears throat> oh. Anyway. So, apparently, a little while ago, Turkey sold to Ukraine a bunch of these drones and a whole bunch of crazy technology to go along with it. And it really pissed off the Russians. Okay. Well, apparently, it turns out that they sold them, like, five times as many of these things as they had said. Oh, cat's Uh (laughs) Um. And now U.S. intelligence agencies are saying that as early as this coming July, there might be 175,000 Russian troops marching across the border into Ukraine. Oh, and well, Biden came out with stern words. You know, did he? Yeah, don't do it. What do you have to say? No, that he's got a call scheduled with Putin in the next few weeks, and a call with the the Ukrainian president this week. 
Uh, well, Biden's obviously not going to do anything if Russia does just march in. And I think that's an issue because no one's going to be able to trust our word at all. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, nobody really does now anyway. So True. And nobody did any of this crap when Trump was in office. As, as loud and boisterous as the dude was, no one yeah. dared this crap. When, well, actually... They did do the Crimea thing, and Trump didn't do shit about it in that peninsula, uh, uh-huh. the, the water port. But Trump didn't do anything about that, but I think that's the only real thing that happened that he should have done something in terms of military mo- movement. No one wants to get into a war with Russia, though, you know? Yeah. And how quick would how quick would China jump in? Pretty quick. That'd be an interesting world war. East versus West. Sounds like a Rocky movie. It does. All right. So I'm still pissed about this Baldwin thing. Oh, well, um, he came out and did a... Oh, I saw a, He had an interview with some news media this week. Yeah, well, okay. I say I, I tried to watch it. I could not. <laughs> And, and, you know, he said, I was asking him, I was like, well, it's not in the script to pull the trigger. Why'd you pull the trigger? And he's like, I didn't pull the trigger. Then how'd the gun go off? It wasn't in the script for him to draw the gun, point it at someone and cock the hammer either. But he did all that shit. Not according to him. According to him, he did not have his finger on the trigger or pull the trigger. Malarkey. He, again, he wasn't supposed to draw the weapon, point it at anyone, and cock the hammer either, but he did all of those things. Uh, and it was a single-action revolver. You had to cock the hammer to fire it. The guy's a boob and probably didn't realize you get a head trigger once you cock the hammer back on a, a handgun. Yeah. And all you have to do is just touch the thing and it'll fire. I don't know. It's... Anyway, yeah, he's certain he's not going to be facing any charges and everything. And well, yeah, because he's it was this shooting happened in Albuquerque or Santa Fe in New Mexico. I guarantee you the DA is a Democrat, and you know they're they're going to find a way to make it go away. I don't know because the district attorney actually said that no one's been ruled out for charges yet. And there might be a whole bunch of people getting charges um, just because they didn't handle it properly. Like they didn't. Either way, you shouldn't have pointed it at someone. You never point any gun at anybody. You always assume it's loaded. You never. It just it's pissed. The basics poor. never. Yeah, the basics. Never point your weapon at anything you don't intend to destroy. Keep your weapon on safe until ready to fire. Always assume yeah, your weapon yeah. is loaded. Yep. All that good stuff uh-huh. <laughs> that everyone who's ever owned a gun has been has been beat into their head, right? Or in the military. <laughs> exactly. And everyone's had it beaten in their head. You treat it as a deadly weapon at all times. Mm-hmm. And this That's guy always, is. and this guy was duke ticking around, thought it was funny, and someone's yes. dead because of it. And I hope something happens. I do too. But I got a bad feeling nothing's gonna happen because it's gonna be it's gonna be tried in the uh the public court. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Where are we going? Um. Apparently, there's no records. We're moving on to Wisconsin and the Christmas parade. Fiasco. Yeah, this was Wakosha, right? Yeah. They're saying that they they can't find any records of the court hearing where the attacker was freed on bail before he rammed into the parade. Which, when I first read the headline, I got the impression that he had not been arrested and this was made up and there was no record of it. But then when I read the article, they just flat out lost the paperwork of the low bail. Of course they did. So whoever's signatures on it isn't there anymore, you know? Uh, it, it's kind of frustrating here. It, it, it's yeah. obvious what's going on here. No one is allowed to talk about it. Because like six or seven people died, you know. And then if you go, 
and look at this guy's rants on his Facebook page and stuff like that. About killing white people. Yeah, exactly. And he's got rap songs that he created about killing white people, you know. Yeah, he was culture. obvious. And he, there was, I've heard other reporters on different shows where it said there were other roads he could have turned on before he got to where he got that would have avoided the parade with he was really fleeing the scene of a crime. There was easier route to take. He wasn't fleeing the scene of a crime. He was looking to commit a crime. Yeah. And if you were fleeing the scene of a crime, why would you drive through a parade? All that does is draw more attention to you. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, Especially when you start to kill kids and grandmothers. What's that? Especially when you kill little kids and grandmothers. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's almost as bad as a Cuomo brother. Oh, what, did that make the list? Because I added it at the very last minute. Well, yeah, we, we, can, gotta, we can add it in when we get to the point where he's suspended. There's yeah, breaking uh, news on that. I know it's right on right underneath the suspension is the termination. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of shocked when I that came across my news alert today. Yeah, let's uh let's talk about that for a minute, actually. Okay. I did not expect him to get fired because they no, still got lube and tubing on the payroll. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that tells you he must have done something really well. Here's the here's the difference between the two things. What Tubin did was not on CNN. It was with the New Yorker, what the other paper he was a columnist for. That's a good point. So it wasn't directly involving CNN, whereas Chris Como flat out lied to his bosses that he wasn't in actively talking to the other news medias to find out what they knew about his brother and the status of their their investigations. Not just that. He was using contacts, uh, CNN contacts, uh, resources or whatever, to stalk the accusers and get information and dirt on them. Right. All of which is bad, bad. Well, the official comment from uh, CNN was something like, they made it sound like it was the fact that he admitted he did that stuff was the issue. Uh, And that really bothered me. Not that he did it. It was the fact that he said that he did it. It's, It's the way he made it sound anyway. Well, when he first came out and said he helped, he downplayed it, you know, and they let it slide. Yeah. And then when the the report came out from the state attorney general in New York, CNN was forced, their hand was forced in this issue to, you know, to take more action because it became very agree- very obvious how egregious he really behaved. Well, I mean... It was ridiculous, and it was obvious to anyone who didn't have the head up their own ass who, watching this happen. I mean, and did you notice, by the way, that his brother didn't even get busted for killing all of those people? No, he got busted he never for grabbing either. ass. He won't either. That 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 will get pushed under the rug. And yeah. here's the problem with CNN, though: is can you name one other person on CNN that's that's got their own show don lemon okay but chris combo <laughs> is their big star don yep. lemon is crazy um do they were they was cnn the guys that had the uh the dude who said he was getting shot at in a helicopter or something no that was NBC. nbc okay that was uh, uh not tom broke off the guy that replaced tom broke off uh and he actually just left them at NBC. That's a screaming baby. Yeah. All right. And I know who well, you're talking about. Um, yeah. CNN, though, does have the um, <clears throat> Don Lemon, who apparently wiped his chill, then slapped it across some guy's face in a bar. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand how you can let that go. Like, I don't care who you are. If you put your hand in your pants, wipe your chilled real good, then slap it across my uh, my face and nose. Uh, that's bad. There's going to be a fist fight. <laughs> that's, just, that's all there is to it. <laughs> I don't know how this dude didn't just beat the piss out of this guy. Because um, you know you wouldn't let that stand, right? That was Don no, no, Lemon. No. All, the did, all the dude did was try to buy him a beer. Yeah. And Don, yeah, and Lemon went off on some 
tantrum. Oh, Cuomo was the guy, though, that uh, faked quarantine, right? Oh, yeah, because he was – and then somebody confronted him in upstate New York, not upstate, but out on Long Island. Yeah, jogger or whatever. It's like, aren't you supposed to be yeah. in quarantine? And he got all mad. That was the best part was he blew it up on his own podcast thing, one of a talking trash on his dude. It's like, well, why aren't you supposed to be in quarantine? Yeah. All right. What's this shoot? I, I put a bunch of shooting stuff in here because it seemed to be a lot of shooting people happening. Well, I mean, the obviously the big one is the Michigan high school shooting. Yeah. And now they've uh, charged the parents with murder. I thought it was manslaughter. Yeah, something like that. Well, the parents fled the fled the area for a little while. Yeah, okay. One, how are they charging the parents with manslaughter? Two, why did the parents flee? Um, this, this, well, this... apparently there was a meeting earlier that day um, where uh, they, uh, um, they called in the parents because of some of the things he was saying and doing in school. And the parents refused to pull him out of school that day and get him counseling. So that means you should be charged with homicide? I don't know. The gun was just bought like a few days before that, too. Black Friday. Yeah. So Brian what? Williams. Brian Williams was the uh, the NBC evening news guy that huh. got caught lying. He ended up on MSNBC, and now he's leaving them after he's leaving the NBC Pro News Network after 27 years with the company. Oh yeah, he disgraced himself. That was more embarrassing than um, Geraldo yeah, and but then uh, he Al Capone's vote. To, but then he allowed himself to go to MSNBC. Yeah, that's hell of a demotion. That's a huge demotion. That's like that's like one step above us. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe two, but not funny <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, right. MSNBC actually gets some... Uh, is doing a little bit better than your good podcaster. <laughs> then right below your good podcaster is us. Well, they got, they got what's-his-face on there. You know, the guy that can't talk. Um, uh, Al Sharpton? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, from the No Agenda shit clips. You know. <laughs> Pretty much. Is this much this with? Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> I should stop. I think, I, I think Biden took lessons from him on how to do speeches. I know. Oh my God! I need to figure out how to get these sounds going again, so I could stop playing some of these little funny sound clips of them saying stupid shit like that. Yeah, but I mean, this whole Michigan thing is is a little crazy, and I'm glad that. There's word coming out about that one student who, you know, stepped up. He ended up dying, but he, like, you know, put himself in front of other people hmm. to save their lives over his. So there was some heroism involved in this. Thing. Well, uh, I've heard rumors, which might actually explain why the parents might, being char might be facing charges here, that... People knew this was coming for days. Apparently, uh, allegedly, anyway, mm -hmm. he'd been making social media posts and had a countdown timer somewhere. Um, and many students actually stayed home that day. Um, I don't know what that means and, you know, in the grand scheme, but that might mean the parents had a, a reasonable you know, uh, responsibility. I don't know. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, and it's easy to say, too, after the fact. It's like, well, how come yeah. nothing, how did it happen if there was a countdown timer? All you need is one pissed off kid to shut down school for a day by calling in a bomb threat or, you know what yeah. I mean? Same thing, as, same thing as a bomb threat. Right. They don't have to take a test today, but, you know, granted, you're going to get in trouble, but these kids don't think that far in advance. No. I will say, though, is, as much as this kid's a piece of trash, uh, at least he surrendered his weapon instead of having to get shot to death. 
Yeah, he didn't go for, you know, death by cop. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Most of these kids intentionally get themselves shot or blow their head off with their last round, you know? Uh, so now, I don't know, now maybe we can talk to this kid. We can find out what's going on. It's the most deadly yeah. one since, like, 2008 or something. Or 18, I don't know. <clears throat> Uh, speaking of that kind of crap, you hear about this 17-year-old in Brooklyn? Yeah. They call it a ghost gun. But they don't go on to explain what they mean by ghost gun. They say this as if it's an actual thing that everyone knows what it is. Does it mean, does it mean serial numbers were uh, filed off? Does it mean... It was built by some dude in his garage. It has I think no... that's what goes when I mean. It's, uh, my definition of it, I think, is that it's like you're ordering the parts from different places and then putting it together yourself. There's still serial numbers on all that crap, though, and there's a record of purchase of you buying all these different... Like, granted, you're buying from different people and everything, but it's, it's ghost makes it sound untraceable. Like, there's no nothing attached to it. Like, you're making there's it in your garage with a lathe. Are... There's not too many things in the world these days that are untraceable. No, exactly. You would have to have a metal shop in your garage, either that or a 3D printer these days. But even then, I guarantee that the printer is putting some kind of serial number related to the printer. Not um, even a, yeah, not even a serial. Printing. Not even necessarily a serial number, but like a but fingerprint. There's some, kind of, there's some kind of fingerprint on it. Yeah. Yeah. Just like everything's a little bit different every time. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah, it's, it's a signature, basically. Well, just like a machine shop, you know, a machinist has a signature. You can tell that our welder, you can tell different welders work just by looking at it. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, this 17-year-old brought a loaded ghost gun into a, a school in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. And they made a big deal, which it is a big deal. Uh, but the kid had 30 grand cash on him. Where does a kid get that kind of money? That's an excellent question. But I bet nobody's paying attention to that. Oh, the cop wall. It's it's mentioned, but there's not much in this article. Uh, yeah. And de Blasio announced uh, last month he's going to increase the number of random metal detectives. I, if you're going to do metal detectives, you have to have them at every entrance, right? Yeah. Oh, they're useless. If you know. Yeah, or else I'll, if I have a gun, I'll just go to the one without a metal detector, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> that always blows my mind. We have more random metal detectors. It's like, no, they're not random. Everyone, they, it's not like you're moving these things around. Yeah, they're in one place. Go. I never had a metal detector in high school. All right. I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know what this was. Some security guard got shot trying to stop the robbery, a robbery of a news crew. Yeah. Uh, just more shootings. More people getting shot. Some woman in Rosalind. Is that or Chicago? Chicago, okay. Yeah. Uh, stopped a would-be carjacker with her gun. And actually, it's funny when I read that article. Her quote, she sounded like uh, Danny DeVito from uh, <laughs> from It's Always Sunny. He goes, so anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> well, the woman that was being carjacked, dude had a gun to her head. And she reached for hers. I was like, you're out of your mind. It's like, at that point, you give the dude your car, right? <laughs> yeah. Because like, you don't reach for your gun. That's guaranteed to get, lose your brain. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. Speaking of shooting a bunch of people, Dead Eye Rittenhouse is um. I've actually heard conflicting reports on this, so I've, I've heard a lot of stuff about this. I've heard that he gets out, and I heard he's fill in. So I mean, I don't know which way to go right now. Well, from what I understand, is he um was online because of the trial and everything. Uh -huh. want, wanted to go to on-campus study. And there was a big, giant protest and big deal thing uh, at Rittenhouse. According to what I read anyway, the Tucson.com, Arizona and Regional News. Right. 
he is officially completely dropped out. Um, and if that's the case, they might be deciding this kid's career for him. And it's going to be either Second Amendment advocacy mm-hmm. or uh, political pundit. I know people have asked him if he's going to, um, you know, pursue libel cases at all. And his lawyer says he really wants to focus on being a college student right now. But if he's not a college student right now, then... And if they've t- Exactly. If they've taken away school from him because of their bullshit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Irreparable damage, I believe, was the term we used last week, wasn't it? Yeah. We'll see what happens with that. I... I It'd be interesting because I think Sandman, Nick Sandman, said something to him, didn't he? Probably the uh, Covington Catholic kid that yeah. nailed CNN. Yeah, and other networks. It wasn't just CNN he got paid by. True. I'm surprised he uh, didn't actually go to court and get the full amount he wanted, though. Uh, he accepted a settlement because he had to keep quiet on everything. Well, but here's the problem with that: is it doesn't really hurt the networks. Because they have insurance for that. Yes. Until until it comes renewal time on their policy, it really doesn't affect them, you know. But now that they've had these huge claims, their premiums are going to go up. Just like if you get in a car accident, after the car accident, your insurance goes up. Yeah. What I'm saying is that he could have exposed them completely in a courtroom versus taking a settlement and going away quietly. Right. But like what he got anywhere between like twenty and eighty million dollars, something like that. Well, the, the the actual figure has never come out, you know. It's, there's probably an NDA involved in this. Yeah, there was oh it definitely was. I uh, might just go buy a farm and live by myself in the woods, you know. Mm-hmm. All right. Did we talk about this remain in Mexico thing last week? Um, we've been talking about it on and off for a while now because the court in Texas and I believe Miss Louisiana, one of the other court systems, said that the Biden administration shut it down improperly. Yeah. So they were forced to reset it back up again. And I read uh, another article saying, well, they're still, even though they're resetting it back up and negotiating with Mexico on how to do it. They're still looking for ways to shut it down. Yeah, well, I I don't understand the problem with that. With shutting with it remain, down? Well, with the Remain in Mexico policy. I don't see the issue, honestly. It the rest works of the, really well. The rest of the world does this. Because if you're seeking asylum, you don't just come into the country and say, hey, I'm seeking asylum, and then get freed off in the, you know, one of 50 states and never show up for your actual asylum hearing. Yes. This way, they're going to see a judge before they ever get granted access into the country. Well, whatever happened to first safe country, that's an international rule, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it's still in place. They're just buying, come- they're not, nobody's buying by it. America's not even using, you know, with, with, with Biden as president, he's all about as many people coming into the country as possible. They made a big deal about it. Like, oh, Biden's better on this than Trump was. He uh, he's deported more illegals. It's because he let them in. Yeah, they he's got cleaning up his own it. mess. He's the one that told them, "Come on in." Yeah, yeah, and that's that's the thing is you, you play his campaign videos for people and like that never happened. It's like that was his campaign to run for I mean, president. Half the people have Biden Harris shirts, you know, from the campaign they're wearing. <laughs> I put down my window and said something to someone uh, oh, yesterday uh, when I was driving. Uh-huh. I was, they were in front of me to the side or whatever, and I saw the Biden-Harris sticker, and I was like, okay, you see those things everywhere in Massachusetts, right? Of course you do, yeah. Huh? Well, I get up next to them, and I, I look over, and they got the window down, and I put my side passenger window down, and I was like, if you have a mask on in your car and no one else is in your car, you don't need the Biden sticker. We all know. <laughs> Did they have their mask on? Yeah. <laughs> What'd they say? Like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> Got all puffity puffity. I laughed so hard. 
That's awesome. I felt a little bad because I don't usually do stuff like that. But I was like, <laughs> you don't need the sticker. We already know who you voted for. But you for. felt good about it at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> man, you go huffy puppy. I was just like, this is hilarious. <laughs> Oh, and that's the way it's getting in Virginia too. It's like you can you can tell by who shows up indoors at restaurants and bars and everywhere stores. Mm-hmm. Their their political acclamation if whether they're wearing a mask or not. Uh, mate, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of mask wearers in general up here. Some places have weird mandates if you're not vaccinated, but they don't ask your vaccination status walking in. They're not allowed to. <laughs> Let's go to that. Is it on the list? The well, the foundation of my argument against the vaccine mandate has been Roe versus Wade. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, people don't realize that because they seem to think Roe versus Wade says you can have an abortion. It's uh, actually medical it privacy. Yeah, it's Everybody's medical freaking pri- out that they think that. Uh, because these cases have gotten in front of the new conservative Supreme Court that it's going to get shot down. No, what's going to happen is it's going to revert back to a state's rights issue at the minute. and where it should be, and each state can decide what they want to do. Uh, I had a discussion with someone the other day at work, and I will say they actually were more knowledgeable than most people on the issue. But she claimed that the right to abortion came from the 14th Amendment. <clears throat> and I was like, because that was the argument of Roe versus Wade was these weird privacy rights that don't really exist. Uh-huh. But I mean, even when they made the decision in uh, Roe, they even the, their opinion piece that they write every time even says like, uh, we can't really find constitutional backing for this, but it seems to make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Even Ginsburg said it was a bad law. Well, even but I've been she reading was articles now that this has come up this week that say most European countries don't even have as liberal of an abortion policy as we do. Yeah, uh, this seven... and, they're more, and typically European countries are more liberal overall than oh, yes. Americans. There are seven nations on the planet that will allow abortion as late as we will: China, North Korea, and uh, Vietnam. Oh yeah, I want to be. Uh, three I, want of to them. be lump, I want to be lumped in with those those countries. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Somebody, um, I think it was maybe Roberts, said, um, pointed that out. How these European countries, you know, you only, they only get fifteen weeks or whatever, and they they seem to get it done. I don't see the problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Roberts is not going to be on the strike down Roe v. versus Wade bandwagon. I bet he does. Uh, I bet. Oh, and you know what? I'm I'm going to go as far as to say that uh, Barrett, the newest one there, the youngest one, uh-huh. is they're not going to strike it down. Uh, they're going to do what they've been doing lately. They're going to kind of punt it by making a half decision. That's what they do every time lately. Have you noticed that? Oh, yeah. But I think Barrett's going to be on the side of, yeah, this law doesn't make sense. Uh, the Rover's way decision doesn't make sense. And exactly, though, even if they do overturn it completely, it doesn't make it illegal nationwide. No, never will. Says, There's going to be states, uh, California's never going to make it illegal. New York's never going to make it illegal. None of the blue states will make it illegal. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't outlaw. It doesn't, you know, all it just even says the, the red in- states aren't really making it illegal. They're just making it more realistic and more difficult to get. Less likely to be used as birth control is what they're trying exactly. to do. It's what exactly. they're trying to do. Uh, now I always hear the rape and incest argument. I don't <laughs> like the idea of carrying a rapist's baby, and you know, uh-huh. but at the same time, I don't think that baby is guilty and deserves to die. Just my opinion. Uh, it's way more uh, complicated than just that. Yeah. But it's still not the baby's fault. They shouldn't be executed for it. So I think it should be the same thing as you would in any other self-defense situation. If your life is on the line, you can defend yourself, right? Right. Uh, 
anyway, what the hell were we talking about before we got distracted by that? But yeah, <clears throat> anyway, if, if Roe versus Wade did get overturned, it would blow a giant hole in my entire argument I've been using about my uh, privacy rights, yada, 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 HIPAA and all. Can you imagine all the stuff that would not all of a sudden be private anymore, though? Yeah. And that's exactly what the issue is. Most people don't realize that. They think that that decision created a right to abortion versus you don't have to tell the government what goes on between you and a doctor. Right. Which is the same, again, the same argument I'm using against the vaccine mandate. <laughs> uh-huh. Anyway, moving on. Who, who's this Carrie Borisara? I don't know. No idea. She's this is sounds like one Elizabeth. of your stories. Is it? Oh, okay. Well, she's an, Elizabeth, she's an she's Elizabeth. She's an Elizabeth Warren. Okay, she's Canada's indigenous health expert. Was. Because she claimed uh, her ancestry claims prove false. Oh, so she is the Elizabeth Warren of Canada. She is, but she actually lost her job over it. Elizabeth Warren yeah. still has well, hers. You keep voting for her. <laughs> I definitely not. Uh, oh, my God. Um, when is she up for re-election anyway? I don't know. Yeah, I just I left my butt off when I read that. Um, that was the first thing I thought was Elizabeth Warren, but at least the Canadians are decent enough to resign. Except for the Prime Minister. Prime Minister Blackface. He's never going nowhere. No, and because his father was a big deal, they're pretending like this guy knows what he's doing, but he's a boob. Right. You uh you follow Jordan Peterson at all? No. Uh, you should check him out sometime. He's a, a Canadian. I'm not even sure. He's a professor. I'm not sure what he teaches. But he's got some very interesting views on life. I think I think you might find it interesting. All right. So. Remember, uh, during, I don't know if you know, it's during the week I asked you guys, wasn't there a woman in New York recently? Who said that she is the truth or something like that? Yeah, yeah. And she could and she compared herself to basically Jesus, and she said she had apostles and everything. Uh, Fauci said he is science. Oh, Fauci! I don't want to word. I want to do a show without talking about Fauci one of these days. Fire him! Oh, that's right. We can't because he's not elected. And Biden will not fire him. Biden loves him to death. That's because though- he's a. Biden came out and said Fauci's the president. Oh my God, I saw that. That's actually the point a lot of people have been making is that it looks like Fauci's the one pulling the strings here. Fauci's been more wrong in our COVID-19 response. He's been right. Just right. like he was when the, with his AIDS response. I was going to say the same the thing. Oh, and speaking of, These vaccines are giving people AIDS. I don't care what anyone says. This is my crazy theory. I found enough to support this. Not HIV, but the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. People are getting much sicker when they stop taking these booster shots. You know, the CDC has already authorized more and more booster shots. Well, Fauci's- and in Israel, they're up to like four booster shots now. So Fauci's now saying that you should, uh, if it's been six months since you've had a shot, you should get another one. Right. Pfizer and I think Moderna both said that um, they got it wrong initially. It was supposed to be three shots as an initial dose. And it's like, you guys are just making this shit up as you go Oh, along. yeah, because they're getting paid by the federal government every time somebody gets a shot. Yeah, then this new variant shows up. I haven't Omicron. heard of some- yeah, wait, where's this Omni? Why is because Biden screwed up and all of a sudden that's what everyone's saying? There's no N. Oh, it's O M N I. Where? Why that's what W the, the World Health Organization called it. Omicron. I thought they called it Omicron or Omicron. I'm sorry, Omicron, like yeah, Om, Omega, the uh, Greek letter. 
Well, they skipped a whole bunch of Greek letters. Two of them is they didn't want to piss off the Chinese or gangsters. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, now, I, you know, but they just came out and extended the, the public travel mask mandate. You know, it's going to go until who knows when. And now I'm hearing rumors that they're going to make it so if you want to fly commercially, you're going to have to have a vaccine card. This, I know I've made this reference before, but this does sound like the mark of the beast. Yeah, fortunately, um, I've got a flight that I'm going to have to take here in a couple of months. And so I'm going to first Denver. You take a train. I don't have that kind of time. It is a walk. And the thing is, trains don't cost that much less than flying. No, no, but they take like three times as long because I'm going to have to go from here to Chicago and then Chicago West. Yeah, I took a train from Virginia to Massachusetts once when my mother died because the the plane got canceled. I was like, fuck it, I'm hopping on a train. Yeah, like 13 hours later. Yeah, I was like, I could have driven. <laughs> <laughs> And it cost, I only saved like 50 bucks or something, or like 25 bucks. I was like, are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Like, why does anyone travel by train? Because it's relaxing. You know? I don't know. You, get to, you can stand up and walk around whenever you want, you know? Yeah, but I could have taken a 75-minute flight. <laughs> it's just been done, you know? I say that, but how long did you take to get well, in and out of the airport? Well, back in the day, things? you didn't have to worry... You, on a train, you don't have to worry about TSA. You don't have to take your shoes off for the Amtrak screening. Speaking of, people keep saying if you just get the next shot, stuff will go back to normal. If you just get the next shot, it'll go back to normal. I'm like, really? Because I'm still taking my shoes off in the airport. <laughs> exactly. That's never going back to normal. Crime unless, unless you pay the extra money for pre-check. You know, what, that what? magically you don't have to take your shoes off anymore. Magically, you don't have a sneaker bomb <laughs> if you have a pre-check in, right? Yeah. I still can't believe that dude had a sneaker bomb. Not only that, had a fuse on it, he was trying to light it. <laughs> and he still couldn't, he still couldn't make it work. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not gonna be you know putting out bomb making tips, but who uses a fuse and anything that's not who uses a fuse that with a flame on a period to blow anything up? Everything's done electronically, right? Yeah. A button blows done. it up, not a fuse. It's not it's not a Wiley e. Coyote cartoon with a big round bomb that you like. It's all about Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> oh, that was a while ago. That was years ago. Oh. But yeah, anyway, Fauci being a boob, and you keep saying stupid crap. He said that he represents science. And when people um, criticize him, they're just disagreeing with science. And uh, Rand, Paul, Rand Paul and um, what's his name there? Cruz, I think. Tore him a new one. Uh, Rand Paul has really been up uh, Fauci's ass. Okay, Brian seems to have been broken here. But yeah, Paul has been really up Fauci's ass uh, since he caught him lying. Well, yeah. He's never been a Fauci fan from the get-go, so. True. Um, how long has uh, Dr. Paul been, uh, had a PhD, or an MD, I should say? For years. Since the 80s, when the AIDS outbreak happened? Let me look him up. Not that he would have been dealing with AIDS patients. I mean, he's an optometrist. But. Speaking Let's of see. Them, in general, I think we need fewer lawyers and doctors in Congress. Those guys are supposed to be senators, supposed to be uh, farmers and welders. He, in he Congress. started practicing ophthalmology in 1993. Okay, so it's well after the AIDS outbreak. And but you got to remember, optometry and ophthalmology is two different things. He's above hey. an optometrist. Oh, I thought he was an eye doctor. <clears throat> Yeah, but he's he optometry is dealing with special problems with the eyes. Okay, a specialist. Yeah. Yeah. So someone who might, for example, make corrective lenses to fix a vision impairment. Because you understand how the eye works so well and how to make a lens that would work. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know enough about and the he withdrew, he withdrew from the American Board of Ophthalmology and in 2003 and declared himself certified by his National Board of Ophthalmology. Hmm. So he created his own little thing. And then he entered politics to run for a seat in 2010, and that's where he's been ever since. Yeah, well, his father was a big deal libertarian. Yeah, but he, oh. he does not consider himself a libertarian. No, well, Ron Paul did. Did he run as a libertarian or did he run as a Republican? He ran as a Republican. Okay. Yeah, libertarians never seem to win anything because people look at it like, what the hell is that? That and the libertarians are too busy arguing with each other to even join the conversation with the rest of the world. What are they arguing about? Stupid shit, usually. Uh, the stuff, the kind of stuff that everyone used to argue about before half the uh, before a giant piece of the country went so far left that no one knows what's going on. As we've said a couple of weeks in a row, man, when you and I used to disagree and have conversations about this stuff. Yeah. Now it's almost almost all the time. It's these people are out of their freaking mind. What are they talking about? <laughs> we <laughs> can't know? find people that disagree with us anymore. <laughs> Well, the, and the ones you come on the show, boom, exactly. We can find people that disagree with us, but they are not going to come and talk to us because when you ask them a legitimate question, they get offended and they leave. Yeah. You know, we do welcome anyone on, but again, like <clears throat> it's just we talk about the news and not topics. So right. it's like we're not getting into like, oh, I think we should do this different. I mean, we do a little of that, but it's yeah, usually like. Yeah, this guy's a freaking moron, you know? Mm -hmm. does, it comes down to how is three and a half trillion dollars zero dollars? You know? Right, right. Yeah, so anyway, after everyone starts freaking about this new variant, mm -hmm. uh, World Health Organization comes out and warns everyone not to have this crazy knee-jerk reaction to it. Uh and I'm sure you heard on the No Agenda show, the, uh, the South African doctor that discovered this stuff. They said it's like a cold. They said it's very, in, very insignificant. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's a little more communicable, but it's, uh, it's super mild. Yeah. Like, so let's so lock down the world again, you know, over for the common the cold. cold. Yeah. Well, that's something I think that a lot of people keep forgetting is that the common cold is a coronavirus. Yeah. Yep. And and I keep hearing people saying that this is this is to cause more fear mongering and more lockdowns before elections. How is locking people in their houses going to help the Democrats win another election? Well, they're thinking because so many states changed their election laws to make it so much easier to do mail in voting. You could anyway, yeah. even if I can go out and vote in person, I, I you know what I mean? I can still vote by mail. So couldn't everyone else? Well, in Virginia, they lifted the, the witness requirement. So you didn't have to get another signature on your mail-in ballot. Was Virginia the state that had the uh, little window? Oh, no, it was California recall election. that had the little window open so you could see if someone checked a certain box. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if... I'm, I'm guessing we do mail-in ballot here, but I've never done a mail-in vote. Well, that's not true. I did a, an absentee ballot when I was enlisted. Right. Yeah, I did 20 years of those. Yeah, now I'm regretting having kept a Massachusetts uh, residence the entire time because I was paying outrageous tax. <laughs> well, what drove me nuts is one year I got my tax returns and I, you know, I paid all my taxes or whatever. Massachusetts tax rates, even though I could have technically, it would have been I guess illegal or immoral, but I could have put my address as like Tina's mom's house down in Florida, Florida. where there is no income tax. No income tax. But I was like, no, no, I'm gonna be cool. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be, you know, honorable. One year I got hit with I owed seven dollars after the year. I was like, fuck you, Massachusetts. <laughs> 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 they never got that seven dollars. <laughs> I was like, you well, are surely got it one way or another. <clears throat> Probably, but I was like, you're gonna come here and get it from me. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> So you're gonna come here and take it from me. That uh, no, no, no. I'm not saying you would check for seven bucks. <laughs> so a Louisiana federal judge blocked the 
Biden me Biden vaccine mandate for healthcare workers nationwide. Um, this is just going on and on and on, you know. I mean, I think in the end, this thing is going to go nowhere. The problem is a lot of the companies that are left-leaning companies, they can do whatever they want. Mm, yes and no. Here's the way to get around a lot of that stuff. Uh, when they say you need to be vaccinated to work here, ask them for that in writing. And a lot of them will be scared. Uh, because it makes them responsible if something happens, you know? Yeah, because they're not going to get the... Uh... They're not going to get the same protection that the drug companies have against Ex lawsuits. Exactly. Just like um, a friend of mine, his doctor told him to get the vaccine. And he said, all right, doc. So if I come here next week, will you personally inject this uh, into me and sign off on paperwork? He said, no. He said, oh, <laughs> okay. So I should go to Walmart parking lot and have some tobo stick me with a needle. <laughs> <you> <laughs> yeah. Know? <laughs> what do you say to that? I wasn't there. He told me about the story the after the fact. Uh, yeah. He said basically the doctor's like, I'm not signing off on it. And he didn't tell me the rest of the story because I laughed too hard at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but people don't want to take responsibility. Just like every time he's like, don't get your news from us, you know? And right. You know, don't take financial advice from us. However, right now is a good time to buy anything uh in terms of investments because the everything took a big dump after this new variant came out yeah everything i lost i lost so much um net worth i was about to say money i haven't lost any money because i haven't sold anything no as long as you don't sell it right now you're good you know yeah uh, yeah exactly i did sell some dogecoin recently but uh I was up like 10,000% on my Dogecoin investment anyway. I bought it when it was like 0 0.002 cents a okay. coin. Yeah. And I've been sitting on that forever. And I actually forgot about it until someone brought it up recently. And I was like, holy crap, what is it? I was like, 22 cents? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I have so many of these things. <laughs> but that's actually how I'm trying to keep my money now is I, I keep very little money in the bank. Like uh, enough to, for an emergency, basically, you know? everything else is put into an investment and i watch it just go up and down every day i'm like oh god is today the day it's all gonna fall apart <laughs> you can't watch it every day you know you just gotta go with it you know well if you have if you ever look at my robin hood account right now everything's a red line with a negative sign next to it uh, i do have some stuff in paypal that's still positive from when i bought it i got some stuff in a couple other accounts that's at, like verizon Dear God, Verizon keeps making me money. And they actually pay dividends too, I believe, which is kind of nice. I just automatically reinvest it and buy more though. Yeah, well, most companies that are established companies, once they start paying dividends, they got to keep paying them or their stock is going to take a nosedive. Because people sell it going, I was making money off of this a month ago. No, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, all right. Again, don't get your financial advice from us, though. Uh, we're, we're just two drunk assholes. <laughs> uh, so we were making fun of Biden, weren't we? We're getting there. What's this coffee and COVID thing, by the way? It's a, a newsletter that I get. It's a daily newsletter, like Monday through Friday that I get. This is a, a doctor in uh, Florida. I don't even know if he's a doctor, but he's somebody that really follows COVID numbers and stuff like that. Yeah. And there's a lot of interesting data in what he's putting out there. It's like a, it comes out in the morning, so that's why he says coffee and COVID. You know, he expects you to be reading it while you're drinking your coffee. In the okay. So I heard an interesting rumor that they can't find anyone this new variant yet that has not been vaccinated. I believe that. That leads directly to my but, AIDS theory, doesn't it? But but they're but they don't have their boosters. That's what they're. Yeah, they're but how at. come how come no unvaccinated are getting it? This is no longer 
the Biden can't keep using the line where this is a, a is pandemic, a pandemic of, the unvaccinated? of the unvaccinated, you know, I mean, it's, it just is what it is, you know, you're going to get it or you're not going to get it, you know, I'm like, I'm not changing my life, the way I live my life anymore for their scare tactics. I did you 15 days to flatten the curve thing. That was three years ago. Yeah, almost. <laughs> uh, no, exactly. I did that. And I was like, all right, if, it, if this might free up some hospital space as people get sick, I was like, I'm willing to, you know, take yeah. a hit and not work for a couple of weeks. Right. But what's going on now? I'm like, no, fuck. Even the, even the people that are very like, you know, you should get a vaccine. It's still like, I'm not getting a third shot. I'm not getting a fourth shot, you know? Yeah. Most people that have gotten their two shots and I've, I've talked to numerous people that are not said they won't get any boosters. That they, they've done what they said thought needed to be done and they're not doing Here's boosters. the problem. Here's the problem is what if those boosters are the only thing keeping them alive now? What if you what if it's almost like an addiction, but it's a, a health thing? Your body you fed the bears and they can't take care uh -huh. of themselves anymore. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I keep bringing up this AIDS thing. Is that now you're going to need this thing just like heroin? You know, you need your fix or you're going to die. I don't know. They did a bunch of tests with ferrets and uh, mice. And the ones that, they, that had been taking the shots that they exposed to a wild variant of the disease, not the one that they had done it for, 100% uh -huh. of them died. Could you imagine if, could you imagine if you had a 100% chance of dying of? the common colds because you took a vaccine five years ago that you told you were an evil person for not getting. Yeah. Just my crazy theory. I don't think there's necessarily people conspiring, but there might be. I mean, Bill Gates has been a big pusher of this stuff and he's been talking for about a decade about reducing the world's population. <laughs> And I don't know if you know, he actually now is the majority owner of uh, beef farms. He owns most, most of the farms in America. Yeah, and we wonder why all of a sudden, and he's been telling us for years we should be eating plants, not meat, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, he owns all the farmland. And what is a, what is a steak cost today? It's getting more expensive by the day. The ground beef's getting expensive, dude. Oh, it's too late now, but uh, yesterday and today, Burger King had 47 cent Whoppers. I'm sorry, I 30 cents. I couldn't get it to show up on my app. It should have. It was on the top it of my never, app. It never showed up in my app. I checked. My brother delivered bread to Burger King. We knew about it. I kept checking my app all week long, and it never popped up. That's too bad, because that's how I found out was the app. I was going to go get lunch, uh, second lunch at work. And I was like, I'm going to get up to BK. And by the way, but. I probably shouldn't have the app because it makes me eat it more than I should. But <laughs> you, you you earn the points, oh, you, like sky miles, right? Yeah. You can cash in for free food, but. All I got was stay tuned. It's coming soon on my app. Did you check offers? It just popped up. <laughs> like, go to Burger King. Thing is you, can only, go you can only use one per customer uh, per order. So like you can't Good get Whoppers for your whole family. It's only it expires today. I'm never gonna get there now. It was yes, oh, it was yesterday and today, yeah. Those for the birthday. Bastards. And really, I checked it yesterday and today, and it wasn't popping. I gotta get my wife to drive me there. She's sober. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they they deliver sometimes now. <laughs> Not for 37 cents. <laughs> no, like Grubhub or whatever. Uh yeah, it was funny because actually I got BK today uh, for uh, lunch for the family or the, the wife and baby. <clears throat> and I was going to do the 40, uh, 37 cent Whopper thing, but it's like I can only get one. So I ended up doing the, you know, two of them for 10 bucks offer deal. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is a pretty good deal. It costs 10 bucks for a Whopper combo anyway. Anyway, moving on from our disgusting eating habits as we're talking about being healthy and not taking shots. <laughs> Uh, so uh, Biden was out shopping in Nantucket recently. There once, Not a mask. there once was a man from Nantucket with a prick so long he could suck it. And he said with a grin and jizz on his chin, if my ear were a cunt, I would fuck it. 
Hey, everyone knows that the once was a man from Nantucket, but they don't know the rest of the limerick. <laughs> Bro, you, you're still looking at the Whopper offers, aren't you? You're all yeah. sad. <laughs> <laughs> If I would have seen this earlier, that would have went down one. 37 cents. Yeah, you should have just checked the office thing. It's it would have showed up in there just like you know all the other offers. I checked it yesterday. <laughs> I love how you still pissed about the yeah. offers. I'm mad at King. <laughs> but I'm happy at Burger King's. They brought back the Italian chicken sandwich, too. If I go to BK, I only ever get a Whopper. It's a disgusting, delicious piece of garbage. <laughs> so, Mr. Mask Mandate will go shopping indoors without a mask. In, in a Massachusetts. State, in a state that is all about the mask mandate. Well, I don't know. I keep hearing about how Massachusetts is the ones, one of the most restrictive states. Not where I am, at least. You're not in Nantucket. No, but I'm actually... Compared to most of the state, I'm very close to it. Um, but no, I, is a very liberal section of Massachusetts. The, the Cape in general. Well, I brought this up during the election. There was like a red dot around my small community where I live during the election where all the Republicans lived in the entire state. So maybe that's why we're not quite as locked down here. Uh, but our local um, government, man, we're getting ready to have a big giant fight with these people soon. I'm getting pissed off enough that I actually might run for a selectman or whatever they call these people on the town government. Yes, town, not city, town. <laughs> it's so, town government's so weird, dude. It's like pure the way it works, but it's so weird and awkward sometimes, it's, you know? Like they'll hold votes and then not give a shit what the people voted and just do what they want yeah. anyway. They don't care. No, and yeah, that's like, well, why do you even pretend like we had to say? So oh, it was a poll. No, you had me get out. You could have done a poll over the phone. You sent me an email. You could have whatever. You didn't have to send me a notice saying, come vote, you know? I don't have to get. I brought up the what's going on in the town before. I don't want to get too far into that. God knows this show alone would keep me from getting on any kind of government position. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to making fun of Biden. What else you got? <laughs> let's go, Brandon. I just got a breaking news alert. We'll go back to Biden in a second. But Como, Chris Como created a toxic environment in cnn so chris was the one at cnn yeah andrew was the one who killed granny and grabbed fannies uh-huh okay fredo was chris yes okay wasn't their father a politician too yeah he was governor of new york hmm. oh okay I, I clicked on whatever you just put in there thinking it was what you were talking about no, no, no. Like, nothing to uh, do with it. <laughs> I was like, oh, you put something in there. Uh, so, uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, the guy was a scumbag. His brother's a scumbag. I don't know enough about his father. I'm, gar- I'm guessing if there are two, those two are scumbags, the whole family's scumbags. Well, the brother there. Yes. Uh, what? No, no. Oh, the, go- the brother, the governor. Uh, to explain why it wasn't sexual harassment when he's grabbing asses and boobs, he explained that it wasn't sexual harassment by showing tons of pictures of him doing it over and over and over again. Saying, this uh, is just this, who I am. Yeah. It's like, you mean you're a sexual abuser? You're a predator. I don't like Biden, you know, when he touches people. Yeah, he's like, you're sniffing a six year old's hair, dude. If that was my kid, I'd break your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love the pictures of the kids like oh creeped out cringing away. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, oh yeah, this proves that it's I'm not sexually harassing these people. It's like, no, you're showing a pattern of being a sexual predator. That's what you're exactly. doing, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
And that's what he gets in trouble for, not killing thousands of elderly people then lying about it. Right. He probably would. He, he'll get away, get away with that. He already did. Nothing's ever going to happen with Bob Arden. And then, yeah, and then his brother gets fired for helping him cover up sexual uh, abuse allegations. Right. Which don't get me wrong. That's not... Today, if, if you resign, do you get to keep your government pension from the state of New York or do you lose it? It's a good question, honestly. Uh, um... That's a re- well, yeah, I'd imagine you get to keep it because resigning is different than being uh, impeached, 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 yeah, and removed. So, shoot, that might have been why he did that. Yeah. He knew he's going to be impeached. I may as well keep my money. Right. I'm still pissed at it. It's very interesting. He, it, the, the information must have been really damning for a huge Democrat Congress in the they state gave of the New guy York an Emmy, right? To impeach, yeah, they took the Emmy back. Still, they gave <laughs> this guy awards. <laughs> they were the model of how to do things as he killed thousands of people and diddled tons of women. Yeah. Well, let's move on to another topic about Biden. He claims <laughs> so to easy. serve as a liaison in the Six Day War, despite still being in law school at the time. How old is Joe Biden? <laughs> He's what in the eighties. When was the Six Day War? Was it in that in like the forties? That's I, honestly that. I don't know. It could nineteen seventy three. Okay, my mistake. I might I might be thinking the One Day War, whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, it there was, you go. It was. Six he years later, he apparently met, spoke, so. he met the person at the White House prior to the October 1974, 1973 Yom Kippur War. Yom Kippur? That was what they called the war. Yom Kippur. That's a, war. That's a Jewish uh, holiday. Yeah. I suppose that makes sense. Wasn't it between uh, Israel and some Palestinian? I, Israel and force? Egypt. Oh, Egypt. Okay. Palestinian force. Yeah. Well, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I There's just... no way that anybody in the White House would have made him a liaison when he's still in law school. No, exactly. And I don't I don't understand how this guy can get away with saying so many stupid things so often. Uh, well, nobody pays attention to it anymore. Because he says so many stupid things? Peter Ducey's the only one that like calls out Sasaki during the press briefings. Yeah, and didn't Saki um shoot, didn't Ducey just ask her a question about something about how all the people that are getting this new variant are vaccinated? Something like that. It's just like, well, yeah, that's just how it goes. And it's like, no, that's not just how it goes. Like, <laughs> this 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 guy, there's gotta be some kind of correlation here. Yeah. Ducey. There's a glitch in this matrix, though, dude. Like, uh, no, never mind. I just... Tubin. Lubin Tubin. <laughs> and then and then Wiener. It's like these people's names are designed to be <laughs> sexual harassers. And they you know? are. <laughs> He's tubing it in a Zoom call. Oh, my... Uh. I can't admit, I can't believe he didn't get sued for tons of all sorts of sexual assault for that. Brian. What? Or even face charges. Yeah. I need to find a way to mute him when he's not here. So we don't hear that yelling down the hall. <laughs> I don't think I can do that though, because he's the host. Oh well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but Biden keeps saying stupid, stupid, yeah. stupid shit. Oh, that was the thing about uh Oh, this is hilarious. This is going to be a terrible, terrible episode. Uh, I thought it was going to be a good one. Oh, this is hilarious. I, I'm going to I'm gonna make sure he uh, finds a way to make sure that I can mute him in the future. I can change the way I listen to it or the way he hears me. Gee, I got 
I got three microphones set up on this thing. You need to make me like a co-host or something so I can mute your side. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm looking through all this stuff and I'm like, I don't I no, I I can I have a I have three microphones set up right now though. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. There's one built into my webcam too. Uh, anyway. There you go. You're happy now. Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could have paused it, I suppose, but we'd still be live with it. With you guys <laughs> yelling down the hall at each other. Even if you you mute me, you know, it's like so. All right, so let's mock about the our famous vice president. Uh, speaking of, before we go down that road, I want to point out I've been making an effort to call Biden former vice president instead of President Biden. I can never remember to do it. But he is the president. But they keep calling Trump former president. Oh, yeah. I don't but like you don't that. say that about Obama, do they? No. Or Reagan or anyone no, else who's ever been president. No, no, nobody. Anyway, Harris, our, our beloved vice president. <laughs> That got literally zero <laughs> votes for president. Yeah. What about her? Well, all her staff is leaving town because they don't like her leadership style. I've been hearing a lot of conspiracy theories about what's going on with her. To oh, yeah. The well, one I, I heard... brought it up last week about her going to the Supreme Court. There was one, exactly. Then I just heard one, uh, I think it was on the No Agenda show, about them offering her like a $25 million mansion to resign so they could put Hillary Clinton in as VP and then Biden can resign. And put it. I was like, this is craziness. <laughs> this is the craziest shit that people look at Trump supporters and go, this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. This, you know, yeah. this is... <laughs> but, I, but this is a Democrat party. I would not put anything past them. That's the problem. Is I wouldn't put anything past them either. Um, especially Harris. She just she just seems. But she will not resign. She's not going to resign. She has aspirations to be the president of the United States. She would have to kill the president or the bucket. Let me rephrase that. The The president would have to die. The vice president position was she really thought by now she would be the president of the. She thought he would be dead by now. Yeah. Or or, or, the, have or a, the 22nd Amendment would have kicked in. 25th, I think. The, right, uh, right. Not, what, whatever amendment it is. Uh, it she's gonna, she was going to sign off on it. Unlike yeah. Pence, who was not going to sign off on Trump's, she'll sign off in a heartbeat on it. Yeah, but... But the media doesn't even bring up the 25th Amendment anymore. You know, about competency to stand as a president. I actually brought this up and we discussed this for a while, a while ago about how them saying this about Trump was actually them planting the seeds, make people familiar with it so uh-huh. they could do it to Biden. Uh, we talked about now for- they're so scared of Kamala Harris. I don't think they'll ever bring it up. That's exactly the same thing that everyone says. Like Biden's a boob, but Harris scares the crap out of me. She's she's a monster. I've talked to people that aren't even political and they were freaking out when the news came out that uh, she became president for a few hours while he went under when the president the had, when the president was busy doing butt stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, yeah, she had the power of the president for a couple hours and she had, when the president was doing butt stuff. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Trump didn't do that, you know. He didn't, he didn't get general anesthesia. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm staying awake for this. I'm staying president. Mike Pence, you will not get power. <laughs> Did he even do a colonoscopy while he was in office? It's only every, done every five or ten years. So. He did. He did. Um, okay. Well, five or ten years when you're like 40 or 50, not when you're... Trump's almost 80. Trump's an old man. People don't realize that. He's not as we, old as Biden. No, and Biden will always be older than him. <laughs> <laughs> That's something the wife keeps reminding me all the time when I say something. She's like, you're always going to be older than me. I'm like, you're, you're right. <laughs> well, one of the things that can't, Biden campaigned on was he was going to shut down the virus, but not the economy. And he's on the opposite. 
Yeah, he's done neither, really. I mean, yeah, he's done the opposite because they were really expecting the November job numbers to be through the roof, and we added just 210,000 jobs. Well, that's what got me earlier, too, when they say, oh, we created 500,000 jobs. You didn't create jobs. You let people go back to work. <laughs> right. But not even that many people are going back to work like to be going back by now. People are like finding other ways to make a living or they're living on less. Yeah. I might need you to carry this show for five to ten minutes because I really need to sit on the toilet. Okay. Uh ooh, I think I ate something funny today. And unfortunately, I got this weird feeling it's gonna be uh it was a whopper with cheese. That's probably exactly what it is. <laughs> and unfortunately, those um chili pepper, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, ghost pepper um chicken nuggets. That's that's not gonna go well. <laughs> anyway, take us down a path. I'll be back shortly. All right. So yeah, I mean the job numbers are uh are what they are. The economy's not bouncing back like the Biden administration said it was going to. And so it's just, uh, it is what it is. So, I mean, and I don't think that with uh, the current administration and their current economic beliefs are the way they are, that anything's going to change anytime soon. <clears throat> um, the next thing is uh, there's been a lot of looting going on, um, especially in California. Um, the latest ones hit a Los Angeles Home Depot and uh, they did it on a Black Friday to get as much of the stuff that they could and uh, it is what it is. I didn't know we could pause the live recording. That was pretty cool. Um, the wife actually was on the can when I went up there. <laughs> no, even worse is same thing happened to her. She's like, also, she's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's probably that uh, whopper working its way through. Unfortunately, um, yeah, the, we're back live on Facebook. Too, there we yeah. go. Unfortunately, the hot. That's good hot, to know. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the hot it's chicken a whole nuggets. Lot easier. It, this show is a whole lot easier to do with three people, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the third person does make it a little easier to float along when someone has to disappear for a minute. Yeah. Which, but I don't know if you've noticed, it seems like we've had at least one or two guys watch this thing uh, live every week. Yeah, we've got somebody watching us live right now. My buddy from Michigan, Michael Duckett, he... That's he him. He's like... He explained... I just read a comment he just put up about the ghost guns. When you buy the lower half, there's no serial number on the lower half. On the lower receiver? Yeah, yeah. So but you still have to put the rest of the gun together, and there's going to be a serial. How is there no serial number? If someone's make machining parts, you serialize that shit. Yeah. I mean, there's like 16 VINs on your tr your vehicle, you know? <laughs> no, for know. real. They're I'm everywhere. I'm just by what he said, you know, that there's no serial number on the lower receiver. All right. Oh, there's still one on the barrel or whatever when you build the yeah, rest of it, right? Yeah, there's still a way to track it, you know. There's definitely a way to track it. Unless you have a metal shop in your garage and you actually bore your own thing. Even at that point, you have a fingerprint from the gun. I mean, the, the ballistics, yeah. that's the whole That's the whole point that we brought right. up earlier, too. Yeah. There's always some kind of fingerprint from uh, whoever built whatever. And I briefly talked about the uh, continuous looters that are just going to town, hitting Home Depot and both, you know, and different things on Black Friday. So hey, what's Bottega Veneta? I don't know. Some probably some fancy store. Let me see Home, here. Home Depot. If you know what, if you're going to show up with a whole bunch of people and rob a place, Home Depot is not the worst place to go. No, no, I love. You're gonna get some stuff you can definitely pawn from Home Depot. Oh yeah, I mean, just pick up a couple like compound sliding miter saws. Anyone working with wood will buy one because you use it for like 17 different things, you know. 
I mean, jewelry is always good. That's easy to get rid of, but that's usually serialized and tracked too, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Just pissed me off, though, when people were saying that uh, during these these lootings, you heard a lot of people saying, oh, you know, they're just stealing bread or whatever. It's like th Louis Vuitton. No, they're not looking for bread. They're stealing actual things they can pawn and sell. Yeah, Louis Vuitton does not make bread. Neither does Dolce and Cabana or, uh, you know, Gucci, you know? <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm, I'll look the other way for stealing from stealing bread. Brian, Brian has a bladder of a pregnant woman. Un Luckily, he's even closer to his toilet now. All right. Oh, pardon me. Apparently, the police unions. They're blaming that. They're blaming that. The ACLU on the recent smash and grabs. Why is that? Because they say the voters were lied to. Well, they keep saying, yeah, well, we keep putting criminals back out on the street and then we're lying to people, telling them that different stuff's happening and then they riot over it. And yeah. we're surprised that this is happening. Wow. You, you say Trump caused an insurrection by saying peacefully march. <laughs> But not when Maxine Waters told you to get in people's faces and tell them that they're not welcome here. He didn't and, tell people and, to go into the Capitol building. No, he said peacefully march. Yeah, did. he said peacefully march and make your voices heard. And all of a sudden, he's an insurrectionist. Meanwhile, Maxine Waters is literally saying, literally saying, take to the streets. She's literally saying, get in people's faces, tell them they're not welcome. You know, it's like who's causing an insurrection here? You know, who's causing? Well, here's the pro another pro here. I'm reading the article. Another problem is under Prop 47 in California that was passed in 2014, shoplifting charges regarding the theft of $950 or less were lowered from felonies to misdemeanors. Yeah, now and now they're not even bought. People don't bother calling the police for less than a thousand bucks. Well, yeah, in San Francisco, you can't because the DA says they won't do anything. Yeah, less they won't even. Thousand bucks. They won't even. So. Right there, why would you have a business there, right? And that's why Walgreens is pretty much pulled out of the San Francisco area. Oh, I heard that was because of white supremacy. That's what. That's what. Uh, I heard that from somebody. I don't remember where we we talked about last week. I think probably. Are they all called like I white supremacists and and fear mongering and you know they're racist and everything? That's why they're leaving, and not because they've had like two stores burned down in, in like three miles. And like eighty thousand dollars worth of goods stolen in two days. All right, this next one's yours. So. Well, before people do this next smash and grab, if one's going to happen in the area, call me. You need to get some urgent electronics. Yeah, man, I need like a soundboard, a mixer. I need all sorts <laughs> of crazy shit to hook up to this thing. We're going to Best Buy. <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> I'm not selling this shit. I'm taking it home, just like Sublime. You know, I'm gonna smash that window and get my new PA system. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, where were you going before I interrupted you with that? School official prevents students from attending book club event with an offer who strives ISIS sex slavery over concerns it would foster. Islamophobia. What the fuck? Yes. Thank you. That pissed you off too. They wouldn't let the students go. Wasn't this woman who was raped and abused and beaten by one of these extremist groups because it might foster Islamophobia. So basically, don't tell people what's going on because right. they might we'll say, the that truth. ain't right. Just sounds yeah. like Twitter, doesn't it? Yeah. That's, that blows my mind. I have to find stuff like that from the Blaze, and the Blaze is a Canadian company, but they've been doing like Rumble. Good. Yeah, I thought I could have sworn I put something in here about Rumble. I really could. I thought I did. Well, we talked about it already. So. I know we talked about it, but I could have sworn I had an actual thing in there. Oh, all right. So, Jesse Samolet. Yeah, we talked about exactly. We talked about. Uh, Jizz face Maxwell. 
uh, another same same day, the Smollett trial started. This dude's boned. Uh, he's not gonna get in a ton of trouble, but he's gonna be convicted. Let's see, yeah, he's facing like six disorderly conduct charges yeah, for filing well, he false was claims. Trying to like make a name for himself so he could get his pay up on whatever show he was on. Another hoax. Actually, remember a while ago I brought up a hoax hate segment? Yeah. Like a fake uh Matt and Blonde show do a hoax hate segment every week. And this is what started them doing it was Smollett. Because uh, it was so obvious. Uh, yeah, his defense is basically that the uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce the brother's last name. Uh, the two brothers that he allegedly hired to do this. Um, He's claiming that they're sophisticated criminals and it was a giant conspiracy theory that they were doing. To, and I was like, okay, so how is setting you up for a fake hate crime helping them? Right, exactly. And the best part is they said it was a racist, homophobic thing. Uh -huh. These two brothers are both like Ugandan or something or Kenyan or something like that. They're like born in Africa black. <laughs> and I believe not certain one of them is gay okay so his defense is larry elder is a white supremacist <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean we'll see where it goes uh i don't think they're allowing cameras in that quorum is that federal or state it's got to be I state right I thought it was state, but it has to be. The federal government wouldn't be filing charges over. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Chicago. By the way, I had never heard of this guy before this this happened. Uh, yeah, I know. If you read the article, it goes into like the uh, ethnicities and sex of the jurors selected, uh -huh. and that kind of pissed me off that they made that a big deal. It's know, a just, state. It's a state case. Yeah, it has state to be so brought brought it against them. Uh, anyway, back to the well. Yeah, you know, what? we'll even skip that one. Shit, I don't even give a shit about these last two. The the almighty court thing that has to do with the Roe versus Wade, where it's where they're actually saying we should make these decisions based on morals. Uh, no, that's not true. Let me rephrase that. A lot of people are making the argument of stare decisis, which basically means is the matter has been settled. And they're trying to make this argument saying you can't change, the court can't change their mind. Oh, yeah, they can. They do it all the time. Yeah, well, if that was the argument, the stare decisis, you know, it's been decided, is the standard, then how did slavery end? How did women get the right to vote? How did homosexuals get married? Right? Exactly. And it just drives me nuts when people bring this up because it's a bunch of garbage. This it's been decided. Yeah, well, the shit changes. That's the whole point of having a living, breathing system to update this versus a piece of paper telling us how to do it, right? Uh -huh. Sheesh. And I do make an effort to keep uh, bring some Newsweek in here every week because Newsweek used to be a big deal magazine. Yeah, they don't make a new actual printed version anymore. It's all online. Are they? I didn't realize that. Yeah, they went on. Nobody was buying it anymore, so they went to the less expensive route. Instead of publishing it, they just put it online. I um, I actually had to get a Newsweek subscription in high school to uh for a certain class I took. We had, I had one in the well, early in my early years in the Navy, I had a Newsweek subscription coming to the ship. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, but that Newsweek, actually, I'm Newsweek is starting to look like they're leaning right. And in terms of leaning right, I mean, not completely beholden to the M5M. Okay. Uh, Why anyone, anyone who does listen to the show, by the way, M, M5M is uh at mainstream media 
right? Yeah. Uh huh. You know, MSM. Uh, from the No I'm, Agenda show. Yeah, I'm trying not to steal all that stuff, but they got some funny stuff that's pretty good, like Massachusetts nuts. Yeah, as long oh. as we don't steal their jingles, they're happy. Yeah, that's and, we're, and, we're, and we give them credit. You know, we always bring up when we start talking about stuff from the show, we always give them credit. You know, we give them attributes for the show. You know, the Adam Curry and John C. Dvorak from the No Agenda show, the pod father. The pod father. He's been everywhere. Like, he's been on Megyn Kelly. He's been on Joe Rogan. He's been on everyone's show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for Tim Pool to have him. You know, as much as everyone makes fun of Tim Pool, he's actually one of the biggest deals on uh, the YouTube circuit. Um, he actually gets more views than CNN. Well, that's not hard. No, but it's funny because the uh, No Agenda show did bring up that episode he did with like seven people in an RV or whatever in Texas with like Joe Rogan and. Um, Joe Rogan uh, was there. Uh, yeah, Blair yeah, yeah. White, the transgender one. Uh-huh. Uh, Alex Jones, Michael Malice. Uh, and oh my, it was fun, but Alex well, Jones. Well, Curry like, actually has been on the Alex Jones show before he went off the deep end. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you say the deep end, he keeps being proven right. As much as Alex Jones is a blow things out of proportion kind of guy, he hasn't. I, sh- I shouldn't say he hasn't been wrong. Like he actually just lost a butt ton of legal cases. I think we br- mentioned that a couple weeks Sandy ago. Hook. Yeah, yeah. I say it was all a hoax and didn't really happen. Oh, which I was expecting Tim Pool and all these guys to bring up. I, I was at least expecting Joe Rogan to ask him about it. The fuck, I'm getting email mo- notifications popping up on my screen all of a sudden. Like I'm just logging into the computer. <laughs> About what? Just my, like, here's your newest email from on this whatever email account here or this new one. Uh, you know, your unchecked emails popping up. Anyway. So we got the Black Christmas. Yeah. Once again, BLM is calling to boycott white businesses. Now, they're not saying buy from black businesses. They're saying boycott white businesses. And they're standing against white supremacist capitalism. I don't know what that means. I really don't. Because you're not much of a capitalist if you're not going to sell your product to black right. people. Because that's what a white supremacist would do, right? No, yeah. F you, you can't have my beer, you know? But if you want to make money, you sell it to everybody. That's why... Uh, Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan never really ah, thank the you. when he was selling Air Jordans. Because Republicans buy sneakers too. But, but, you know, a real, a person that wants to sell something, like when I set, when I, I'm doing insurance, I'm talking to people of all persuasions. I don't bring up my politics unless they initiate the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't sell. Exactly. I, I'm glad you brought the Michael Jordan thing. We brought this up several times on the show. Was yeah, Republicans buy sneakers too. <laughs> uh, oh man, that was actually a long time ago. And that's still my example I use to say that, um, what a good capitalist is. You're not making money by telling half a piece of the population, no, I'm not going to sell to you. He, he really does have the bladder of a seven year old, doesn't he? All right, yeah, but they're also calling for people to move your money out of white corporate banks that finance our our oppression into black owned banks and yada yada yada. What's a black owned bank? Uh, I mean, you can say that this you can say this branch is owned by a black man, but that Wachovia branch might be owned by one guy, but it's still Wachovia. You know what I mean? Yeah. That Wachovia is a bank, right? Yeah. Okay. Or, or any of any of them citizens. That's I think, the one I, I, think been, I think Wachovia has been bought up by Wells Fargo now, but it used to be a bank. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Actually, I think that's why I brought that up because the wife used to have a uh, Wachovia account and then now she has a Wells Fargo, which she's still using, which sucks because there's no Wells Fargo within like 100 miles of here. 
So she spends my money. Out of your Navy Federal account? I haven't had a Navy Federal account in like 12 years, dude. I have a citizen's account. Sure I have a, much better. Why would they are? Uh, well, I don't know. They had the pros and cons. Citizens is a bank. Navy Fed was a uh, credit union. Now they did different things. Yep. Uh, I got better interest with the credit union. That's for sure. Well, there is no interest right now, so. Well, I'm not surprised by that. And capitalism doesn't love black people, according to Jan Williams, a BLM Los Angeles organizer. I don't ask, understand. Ask, what, the, ask the black business owners whether they believe you in capitalism or not. Exactly. Why would you open a business if you didn't think capitalism was a good idea, right? Yep. I just, I don't understand this idea. And then they bring up the, I say they, I say it's everyone, but you hear these groups bring up the argument that it's like, oh, so many businesses are white owned. Well, it's something like 60% of this country is white. And then you break, then it breaks down to like Hispanic, uh, quote, black, which I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Honestly, uh, only because of, that's a color, not, and ethnicity like, right. is Caribbean the same thing as African because they don't I would imagine they're not the same thing right but the Caribbeans have yeah. some of the darkest skin on the planet don't they yeah uh, yeah but then you got you got your different Asian groups and you got all uh, actually apparently the Slavic people are no longer considered uh, are officially recognized as an oppressed group right now the Slavic people are the whitest people on the planet. Besides Elizabeth Warren. But that's literally no, where the word... She's Native American. She's not yeah. white. Well, the Slavs, though, that's literally where the word slave came from. Was because these people have been enslaved so many times in history. Uh, and by... I don't know if everyone knows where the Slavs are from, but it's uh, uh, Yugoslavia, Poland... Uh, area thing. It's tough to say because all those countries keep falling apart. It used to be Czechoslovakia. Now you got the the Czech Republic still around, right? I wonder. It's time for. Is it? It's the Slo- Czech Republic anymore. I think it's broken up into two different countries now. And then it used to be Czechoslovakia. That broke up into the Republic of Slovakia and the Czech Republic. And exactly, they've split up ag- again. But it's a region of the world that it's it, that's exactly what happens. People keep just taking over and enslaving people throughout history in this one spot. I mean, that was the first place the Germans went in World War II was into Poland to take over some more Slavs. Right. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm just fed up of everyone saying. I'm fed of people even pretending to believe that everything is racist. It's just, it, it's silly, you know? Yeah. I need to figure out how to zoom this thing in. Maybe I just need to move the computer closer. Well, that's what I got. Yep. Yeah, two hours, and there was a, a break in there when I went and took a dump, which is uncommon oh, for me. It wasn't that long of a break. No, it, it came out very quickly. It was angry. <laughs> the angry whopper. Yeah. Uh, they used to make those, right? Yeah. Those hot sauce on them and uh, onion rings or something. Yeah. We're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but your buddy, the Decket, he's the one who uh, suggested we do a GoFundMe, right? Yeah. Uh, he's not the guy you did the show with. That was another no, guy, that right? Was, that was Ray Cook. All right. I was thinking about seeing if he wanted to come on. So, Deck it or Cook? Duck it. Yeah. 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 Why not? If you're still listening, if you're, uh, you know, if you're interested, let us know. I do have to get more money for my uh, T-shirt jar because. Uh, I sold a bunch of Dogecoin because that like money got tight, but I also reached into my jar of actual physical cash. 
Yeah, it's it's empty now. <laughs> I was putting ten bucks a week in there. There was eighty bucks, and I was like, "Oh crap, something happened." I was like, "Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah. that's what it is. It's what it is." Yeah, I just it sucks because I'd like I, normally I would just sell something to get that cash, that money back. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. But everything is down so much. I don't want to sell anything right now. Actually, I want to buy more, which is even worse. Yeah. But mm-hmm. well, that's that's not true at all. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the temperature report, it's telling me it's 35 degrees. That's bullshit. It was like 31 four hours ago. You're checking your weather, aren't you? 47. Ah, it's getting chilly down there. Yeah. We got a low of 44 for tonight. All right. Well, I don't know what you got to do, but let's uh, go ahead and cut our feeds off. I guess that's the end of the show. 68.